the legal profession and like I said coming back home it was great because we have represented people from all walks of life mm. you know being back home to a valley that is not as big as Houston you're able to have a diverse uh, clientele mm. and they come with you with different problems perhaps at one time you represented them on a family case mm. but then they've gotten to know you they've gotten to trust you and later on when somebody else has a different type of problem they want you to help them mm. you know and I've been in that situation yes family law I think follows me in Michigan I worked a lot with child support with you know families I moved to San Antonio and I get you know to help with the shelter the better women shelter and then I moved back to the valley and you know family law has followed me and I've realized you know children family law that's my passion mm -hmm. that's my calling but I've also been able to practice in criminal law like I said litigating cases with him and by myself you know doing personal injury your your our career gives us that opportunity to impact people's lives mm -hmm. as an attorney representing them from losing keeping them from losing their house, you know, their their mo their children, you know, those are pri their liberty, you know, their most prized possession, like we tell all our clients, you know, is there your liberty, your children, your family. And now as judges, we are very blessed to be in that position as well, that we bring this experience. And for most people, I tell them, this is my third career, you mm -hmm. know, I was a teacher, I was an attorney, and now as a judge, and sitting here now, you know, going back and thinking, wow, you know, how did I get here? All these experiences, you know, going through different situations, different careers have molded us to be more sympathetic, to be more empathetic. When we have somebody that comes before our courtroom, we're able to relate. Mm 